this video, I'm going to be checking out the new version of ChatGPT, which is ChatGPT4, and comparing it with older versions of ChatGPT. I'm really just going to be checking out what's gone better and is it worth it to buy. So right now I'm at the GPT-4 product page. If I scroll down here, there's gonna be stuff that it's gotten better at. So GPT-4 can solve difficult problems with greater accuracy, thanks to its broader knowledge and problem solving abilities. So here's the input. Explain the plot of Cinderella in a sentence where each word has to begin with the next letter in the alphabet from A to Z without repeating any letters. And yeah, it looks like it's working perfectly. Everything is A to Z. So I'm just gonna copy this and try it out in my GPT 3.5 model. So it does go for the first couple of letters and then it kind of just, it does try and keep it on track down here. Like every couple of letters, it'll be A to Z, but that's pretty cool. GPT-4 surpasses ChatGPT in its advanced reasoning capabilities. So that's pretty cool. So the input is this. Basically, they're trying to just get that common availability for a 30 minute meeting. That works for all of them. Looks like it's working, so I'm gonna paste this into here. Yeah, so this is just pretty far off. Noon to 2 p.m., so that already doesn't work for Joanne and Andrew, so this is just way off. So GPT-4 is a lot better at solving stuff and just really listens to the input a lot more, which is pretty cool. And here it says that it does a lot better in tests. So here they have it with the biology olympiad. So it ranks a lot higher than it used to, which is really cool for problem solving. The next thing I'm gonna be testing out is the quality of writing. So let's say it's a story about So I'm just gonna do a short prompt for a story. Let that print out. Then this is gonna be a comparison on the speed too, so let's go in line by line. I did this one first because it's gonna take a lot longer, and then this one should just be in like 10 seconds, I think. So. Yeah, so that was probably like 30 seconds, I think, and then I'm just gonna paste this in here. As you can see, much faster probably five seconds at least. So just reading from the first couple of sentences, you can tell that the writing quality is obviously a lot better with GPT-4. So in conclusion, I think that if you use ChatGPT a lot, and especially if you use it for school and stuff, I think it's pretty important that you have the new model. It's just a lot better if you're trying to, I wouldn't say cheat your essays, but if you wanna have higher grades for that, or just solving questions, like if you wanna do this or something and it doesn't really work on GPT 3.5, yeah, so I would say that it's worth it if you use it a lot, but if you don't use it that much, I recommend you just stick with GPT 3.5. It's not that much worse, so thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and yeah.